My husband has a chronic addiction to Reddit and refuses to stop my mill from hitting our baby, so I'm here to tell him that our marriage is over and to hit the road. Posted by you slash hotflan8325. Hi Stefan, maybe you'll finally listen. And if you're wondering if you can just speed home and stop me from doing this and leaving, it's too late. I'm sending you this after I've already loaded everything into the car and left. Don't worry, I spoke with our landlords and took my name off the lease. I've set up a direct deposit for next month's rent. After that, you're on your own, buddy. I guess you're wondering why. I'm guessing you'll act like you're completely blindsided, right? Because you've done absolutely nothing wrong, and you're a great husband and father to be, aren't you? Well, buddy, let me break it down for you in a language you understand. I, 29F, have been married to my husband, 35M, for 5 years, and we've been together for nearly 10. On paper, everything seemed fine, but in reality, our marriage has been anything but, and I've reached my breaking point. From the beginning, my mother-in-law has been a nightmare. She made everything about her from day one. At our wedding, she wore white, claiming it was a family tradition, it wasn't. She constantly criticizes me, from my cooking to my appearance. I'll never forget the time she called me fat at a family gathering, right in front of everyone. And what did my husband do? Nothing, not a single word to defend me. It didn't stop there. She has accidentally destroyed my belongings, including my grandmother's necklace, which she threw out because it looked like cheap costume jewelry. She's gone out of her way to make me feel small and unwelcome in my own home. But every time I tried to talk to my husband about it, he'd brush it off, saying I was overreacting or being too emotional. And then there's my husband. He's always on Reddit, constantly giving strangers relationship advice, which is laughable considering how he treats me. He spends more time rating women's views on Reddit than talking to me. Literally, and just so you know, the last pair he rated weren't a 4 out of 10, they were a 10 out of 10. Yeah, he's got plenty of time to do that but can't be bothered to remember anything about my life. He'll forget my birthday, our anniversary, even simple things like what I'm working on or what's important to me, but he has a perfect memory for his work schedule and things that matter to him. When we fight, he becomes incredibly hostile and always throws in a sarcastic buddy at the end of his sentences, like I'm some acquaintance he can barely tolerate. And he never cleans. The house, the dishes, laundry, you name it, it's all on me. It's like he thinks being an adult is optional, as long as he's got his job and his Reddit account. The final straw came a few weeks ago. I'm five months pregnant with our first child, a daughter. My mother-in-law started making comments about how she'll have to whip the girl into shape and how she'll raise her to be tough because I'm too soft. When I told my husband that I didn't want his mother to have too much influence on our daughter especially with the way she treats me, he just laughed it off, saying his mother means well and that I was overthinking it. But the moment that truly broke me was when we were talking about future childcare, and my husband suggested that his mother should watch our daughter while we work. I told him I wasn't comfortable with that, especially considering how his mother treats me, and he snapped. He called me paranoid and said I should get over it because his mother was going to be a big part of our daughter's life whether I liked it or not. This is the same woman who believes corporal punishment is okay. I've seen her hit my husband's nephew for the smallest things, and no one does anything about it. It's like they're all living in some kind of cult, and I'm finally waking up to the reality of what's going on. If he wouldn't stand up for me, how could I expect him to stand up for our child? I started to fear what kind of environment our daughter would grow up in, a place where she might be belittled or bullied by her own grandmother, with a father who wouldn't do anything to stop it. Oh, and did I mention that he missed our first ultrasound? His mother needed him to help her with something urgent. It turned out to be fixing her Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. He chose that over seeing our daughter for the first time. That told me everything I needed to know about where I stand in his life. So, I packed up and left. I'm done living like this. Oh, and in case you're wondering, I've already contacted a lawyer. You can't scare me into complying anymore because I have all those texts. You know exactly which ones I'm talking about. So, Stefan, I wish you all the best in your future marriage, with your mother and the women of Reddit whose beebs you don't even deserve. Update 2 days later. Some people on Reddit have been pretending to know me and spreading false claims. They've said I'm a deadbeat who doesn't work and that Stefan has two jobs to support me. They even fabricated a story about a neighbor, who supposedly is a good friend of ours, saying I've been sleeping around and moving in with the guys I supposedly had affairs with. None of this is true. We don't live in South Carolina or the UK, and we're not friends with any of our neighbors. I have never cheated on Stefan, and I work and make slightly more than him, just a dollar an hour difference. I suspect these claims might be from trolls brigading or Stefan's friends trying to make me regret posting about this. I am safe and staying with family, which is all I'm going to say for now. I'm working with my lawyer to ensure our safety, and that's all I can disclose at this time. For women who find themselves in my situation and are dealing with a lease, 
consult with a pro bono lawyer who specializes in rental rights. That's what I did. They can give you advice specific to your country or region. In my case, I was able to move out because Stefan and I had both signed a lease contract and had completed the minimum rental period. After my free consultation, I worked with my landlords, who are a lovely older couple, to arrange my departure. So don't be scared. Or, I mean, you can be scared, but there are things you can do to protect yourself. Also, make sure to run a credit check on yourself, I did, and it's another issue I'm addressing. As for recent developments, there hasn't been much new. Stefan is clearly desperate. He and my mother-in-law have both had meltdowns and launched separate smear campaigns. My mother-in-law has spread false claims, including that I'm an unfit mother and that I've been abandoning my responsibilities. I don't plan to answer these claims publicly. I'm collecting all evidence I have, especially since she has nothing to back up her accusations, but I have everything to back up mine. So, no, Stefan, this is not going to be a he said she said situation. He deleted his Reddit account, claiming it was because one person found him. But then he told me a bunch of people sent him unalive threats, which seems impossible and contradictory. He did send his friends to my post, and I think they sent me some unsavory DMs and comments, allegedly. When I tried to talk to Stefan, he always made me feel like I was going crazy. Whenever I raised concerns or expressed feelings, he would dismiss them, belittle my emotions, and make me second-guess myself. For instance, I'd come home to find that he had invited people over without informing me in advance. When I brought it up, he'd insist that he had mentioned it earlier, even though I knew he hadn't. Another time, I planned a special meal and asked him for a specific dish, but he claimed I had requested something completely different. When I reminded him of what I had actually asked for, he'd argue that I must have forgotten my own request. Stefan would also insist he had completed tasks that I had actually done myself. For example, he would claim he had handled a household chore when I was the one who actually took care of it. When I pointed this out, he dismissed my recollection and insist that he had done it. Even in conversations about our relationship, Stefan would frequently deny things he had said or done. If I brought up issues I had with his mother's behavior, he'd claim, you never mentioned that before. You're just being overdramatic. This made me question whether I had ever truly discussed these problems or if I was indeed overreacting. At one point, I was so convinced that I had early onset dementia or schizophrenia that I started to question my own sanity. I felt lost and confused, struggling to distinguish between reality and his version of events. I began to document our interactions just to keep track of what was actually happening. But Stefan would always find a way to twist things, saying, you must be misremembering, even though I had clear evidence to the contrary. So I knew that sharing my story online was the only way to present my truth in a manner he couldn't manipulate. I wanted to ensure that there was a clear and unchangeable record of what had happened. Posting about my experiences was a crucial step in reclaiming my voice and finding support from others who might understand my situation. It was a way to take control of my narrative after feeling so lost and doubting myself for so long. Thank you all for taking your time to read this and supporting me.